Can Benedict Cumberbatch do anything wrong? Because I don't think he can. How's it going, guys? My name is Zach. Welcome to my channel where I love discussing all new things, movies, and entertainment in general. I really do appreciate you guys clicking on this thumbnail today. I really hope you enjoy your stay because I finally got a chance to check out The Power of the Dog on Netflix. This one was based off of the famous Western novel by Thomas Savage written in 1967, I want to say. It was written and directed by Jane Campion and it stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons, Cody Smith McPhee, a phenomenal cast. And this this movie is set in 1925 Montana where a domineering masculine rancher named Phil Burbank, played by Cumberbatch, responds with mocking cruelty to some big changes in his home life. It all occurs when his brother George, played by Jesse Plemons, brings home a new wife, played by Kirsten Dunst, whom Phil believes is a gold digger, and her son Peter, played by Cody Smith McPhee, whom Phil believes is a wimp. And before I continue, let me just reiterate, this is all coming from someone who's never read the novel, so this story and this world all new territory for me. And I've got to say, guys, I was very pleasantly surprised by how this story turned out. It took a direction that I never would have guessed going in. It certainly has all the ingredients for a juicy family melodrama, which it certainly feels like it is throughout the entire first half of this film. But then there's a certain spot where this film switches on a dime into this really visceral psychological thriller. And I really got to give credit where it's due to writer slash director Jane Campion who was able to tightrope both of these genres seamlessly. Not to mention that this cinematography by Ari Wegner is among 2021's absolute best. These wide canyon shots in the middle of Montana just make this film and this atmosphere feel so wide open and vast, like it could go in any direction. As unpredictable as this story is, how symbolic is that? And I also gotta commend Johnny Greenwood on a very intense musical score, which is comprised mostly of string instruments. And the use of strings here, I really feel like intensifies the proceedings, as simple as they may appear on the surface. Now, while I'm on the subject of intense, I gotta talk about Benedict Cumberbatch. This guy is honestly, like I said, he can do no wrong. I think he is one of magnificent skills, as demonstrated in the MCU as Doctor Strange, but this may have just been his finest performance since the imitation game which notched him an oscar nomination he gets to explore so many layers as this butch real man's man he is quite the pompous ass very intimidating someone you really don't want to mess with but that's just the thing about this movie guys because this performance feels so larger than life and out there, he dominates this movie, and the supporting characters unfortunately feel lesser than the sum of their parts. But my biggest issue with this film ultimately is that a lot of these gears felt sidelined in the favor of just focusing on the character of Phil, which is really weird because, like I said, there is a lot that you can sink your teeth into. I personally wanted to explore a lot more of this family drama than we actually got. And this isn't to say that there's no development at all with these supporting characters. I loved the drama between the two brothers, Phil and George, the latter of whom I mentioned was played by Jesse Plemons. Awesome in this movie, by the way. He's really not getting enough credit for this because it is so different from any other character he's taken on, like in Breaking Bad, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, hell, even Jungle Cruise. He is a very sweet and gentle man in this by comparison, like a big cuddly teddy bear. I was so, so happy to see this guy exploring the more heroic parts of his range. He was, <laughs> guys, magnificent. Cody Smith McPhee, who most famously was the voice of Paranorman, was fantastic in this, and his character is one that's always keeping you guessing. He's putting floral patterns together, he's enjoying arts and crafts, which Cumberbatch's character finds silly. But the dynamic that these two actors share, I'm not gonna get into spoilers, shocking, surprising, and dare I say, gut-wrenching. And speaking of surprising, guys, how about Kirsten Dunst? I really, really hope the Academy at least recognizes her with a nomination. If not just for the work she put into this, she is devastatingly real in this film. But remember how I said that the scripts kind of underdeveloped these characters in favor of the main character, Phil? Or the Cumber Butch, as he's known in this flick? God, I really, I hope that name sticks. Cumber Butch. <laughs> 
But anyway, Kirsten Dunst's character Rose is dealing with so much in this flick. Phil is accusing her of being a gold digger marrying into the rich ranch family conglomerate. And this is a lot for her character to handle, so she actually does turn to alcohol as her solace. And we see her hiding it around the house for her husband and her son not to find. And that's a really interesting arc there, but the movie skips the middle part of that arc. Phil accuses her, next scene, alcohol being shoved under her pillow. And that just did not compute for me. All I could think was, where is that middle part? That would be like if you were watching the original Spider-Man flick directed by Sam Raimi from 2002. The radioactive spider bites Peter in the hand, and then one scene later, he's swinging around New York City in the super suit. Yeah, that would feel a little incomplete, wouldn't it? That's just to give you an example. There's a lot of little story beats like that with these supporting characters, which I was interested in learning even more about. And the movie just didn't explore enough of that for my liking. Now, I'm sure if I read the book, I would get a lot more answers to this development. And now that I've seen the movie, I'm actually really curious to go check out that book. As far as the movie goes, I thought it was solid for what it was. Don't really feel a need to rewatch it ever again though. I'm gonna give The Power of the Dog a B. Overall, it's a solidly helmed feature with some stellar performances, but it all revolves around some characters that feel a little underwritten. That is aside from Benedict Cumberbatch himself, and I really, really, really hope that he gets a Best Actor nomination because he was stellar. As was the case with the rest of the supporting cast, who I really hope gets recognized. I do think that this will definitely get some technical nominations, perhaps even Best Director director for Jane Campion, but I'm not entirely sure, guys. Let me know what you thought of Power of the Dog down in the comments section below. Go ahead and make as much noise as you want. Do you guys think that this is going to get a bunch of Academy Award nominations like I do? And also, feel free to let me know what your favorite Benedict Cumberbatch performance of all time is. But I would love to discuss all these thoughts further with you guys because I love what I do here. I love making these videos, and seeing your comments down below really does make my day. You know what else will really make my day is if you smash that subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can can. This channel is on the road to 1,000 subscribers, a number I'm hoping to reach very, very soon. It's not only beneficial in helping get this content out there, it's also totally free. As is smashing that thumbs up button on your way out if you enjoyed the video. That would be tremendous, tremendous help. And as always, stay tuned for more exciting content hitting this channel very, very soon. I'm going to be starting my series of reviews of Spider-Man movies and the build-up to No Way Home's release on the 17th. So lots of exciting stuff to look forward to, guys. Y'all are the best. I cannot thank you enough for your support up to this point. And with all that being said, back talk, commence. <laughs>